off-page references and hyperlinks are often used to jump to other pages within a Visio file or to separate files or even to web addresses and email addresses. One way to make an off-page reference is to search for off-page reference in the stencil search pane. So I'm just going to type, as you can see I have, off-page reference. And when I press enter, Visio will start to look for shapes that are to do with off-page references. And here's a variety of shapes it's given me here. All I have to do now is add a particular shape just by dragging it and adding it to my diagram. What it does is then bring up this wee window and I can ask it to connect to a new page or I can ask it to connect to an existing page. So I'll choose existing page and I'll choose page 1 and click OK. The idea now is as it implies, it just takes me to page 1. If I go back to page 2, all I've got to do is double click it and again I'll be taken back to page 1. Sometimes it's a little slow. If I go back to page 2, I can look at the subject again. And if I actually rest on it, it actually says I can also control click to follow the link. So I can control click or I can double click. Now what you may want to do is right click this particular object and change it from outgoing to incoming, which merely changes the shape. What's a popular shape if I right click is to change it to an arrow which sort of implies that you're moving forward to somewhere else. You can also add text. If I also right click this object again, I can go into the edit hyperlink properties and that's where I can manage what this exactly does. I can actually browse for another file or internet address and click to either of those two locations. It's taking me to a particular page and it's using a relative path. 